the senior dinner different than other ones, especially with the meeting of this class all day. Well, they're, and they're all this. They're all that way, you know. To me, I mean, they're they're because you know, I, I the, we're a family here. That you know, these kids are all like, you know, your sons. I, I told them, I'm so proud of everything that they've accomplished. Um, but every year, it's kind of a, a neat deal that those guys get to, you know, reminisce about um, their times here, and you know, you just see because you know you remember them. You know, I, I kind of always think back to them sitting in my house on a recruiting visit, you know, five years ago. He's just some young kid, and now, uh, you know, they're kind of grown men walking out the door with a degree in their hand, ready to go attack uh, the world and, and what it presents. And, you know, just so proud of those guys and everything that they've accomplished. They've done an awful lot for the program. Uh, but most importantly, you know, I tell them it's it's my opportunity to thank them. They believed in, in uh, me. They believed, be, believed in me and Megan. And, you know, what our program's about. And, you know, and, and you go look at uh, guys of, that have helped lead a team to be a number one team in the country. Um, you look at a bunch of guys that have undergraduate degrees, guys that are getting graduate degrees, guy from Ludlow, Mississippi that's in New York City, um, you know, up for uh, academic football, uh, you know, basically academic Heisman. Uh, the Academic Football Honors and National Football Foundation uh, at, at the Hall of Fame dinner at a black tie affair at the Waldorf Astoria. I mean, I'm, I'm probably not a lot of people from Ludlow, Mississippi, have been in a black tie dinner where they're the guest, one of the main people there, there to celebrate um, at the Waldorf Astoria. You look at uh, Dak Prescott, how far he's come. Just all the success those guys have had from where they came from is what makes that kind of a neat dinner. You know, a last chance. Uh, that they're going to be together at my house, and uh, it was a lot of fun. Kind of a similar question, but final tackle practice. Yeah, how how emotional things, all that. It is, you know. I mean, there, there are times are, you know. I think our guys they have fun with it because they are a family. Um, but it is, I think, for those guys, you know. I mean, they every year they, you know, they try to kind of keep it funny. But you can see with the seniors and the young guys, you know, because uh, a little bit of emotions that are inside them. They know that's their last time practicing out here on these fields, and uh, that's a special deal. Was this the first time a coach did it as well? So yeah, <laughs> Tony got a Tony got a rep at it right there. That's Tony to come up. I, we haven't had a coach do that before, but uh, you know what? I mean, he's done a he's done a great job with this program. He's been with me since the beginning here. Um, you know, and, and uh, you know, I mean, he's as responsible as I am, or all the players are, for the success that Mississippi State's had uh, as part of you know what we've done. I mean, the, uh, this organization. You know, I mean, for us, the program that we've built. Um, he's put an awful lot of blood, sweat, and tears into making this successful and, and bringing pride to the state of Mississippi. You talk yeah. about Tony. I guess attrition happens all over college mm -hmm. football. How have you had to just combat it as a, as a head coach? Well, I mean, you just it's always going to happen. You know, I mean, I think when you're a successful, the, the success that we've had here, um, people, people want that success at their school, so they want to try to come get our coaches. So, um, you know, I, I, that just that's something that happens every single year. And, um, you know, it's great to me when guys, when you know, a Tony, a guy like a Tony uh, that's left and, and had opportunity to go on to be a head coach, uh, I think that's a, that's a that's fantastic opportunity. We haven't had a chance to ask you about your two mid-year signees. Can you comment on those guys? Yeah, very excited to have them. You know, two guys we, we knew a lot about in high school that we were very excited to go re re recruit out of high school. Um, really proud of what they've done. Uh, you know, you look a year and a half later, they're getting out of junior college. You know, they went, took care of their business, not only um, uh, in the classroom, also developed more as players from their high school days. So really, uh, really happy with what they've done. And, and we're excited to get both of them in here. I mean, you know, you look at, um, especially, if, you know, you have two senior corners walking out the door. Uh, to have Lashard come in as a corner that's going to be able to compete for a starting position right away, especially going through spring practice, uh, is going to be huge. Um, you know, and then with, uh, you know, with, with, with on the D-line, you look, and we, we got to play a lot of guys on the defensive line. Um, you know, Trey Brown's going to have the opportunity to come in and compete right away and, and get in the rotation right away for us. Do you have an update whether Tony will make the trip to Charlotte? Or? Yeah, I think so. I, you know, again, I mean, it's – I, I keep telling him, I, you know, and I, he looks at me now. <laughs> they were all making fun of us on the practice field, you know, started to talk like right when we got on the field, and all the other coaches were like, uh-oh, you know, there's special handshake. We're not even allowed in that meeting. That's a head coach's only meeting. And uh, <laughs> But, uh, no, I think the plan is for him to come to Charlotte. But, again, um, you know, his, his number one responsibility has to be his program at Jackson State right now. And... Um, you know, if it works out, which, you know, the plan is for him to do that, then he'll be with the team in charge.
Was today the first day he had been out there this week? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it was the first day back. Cause, uh, but, um, you know, I mean, he's been with the program long. I mean, he knows what's going on, knows our routine, knows all that stuff. So uh, I, I, it's not something I'm concerned about. I think both of us, uh, it's fantastic we get him at the bowl game. I understand the issues if all of a sudden <laughs> there's stuff that happens when you're the head coach that make it a little uncomfortable. And uh, but I think he would really like to be there, and we'd love to have him there. You talk about that, the relationship you have, and you know when those things happen as a head coach. Obviously, this is his first experience doing that. I mean, do you kind of – do you give him advice at all? Absolutely. You know, I mean, I'll, I just – you know, little things here and there and tidbits, but, I, you know, I think he knows I'm always here to call and um, – you know, ask how do you handle a situation? You know, something comes up. How am I going to handle this situation? Or, you know, what's your what's your opinion on um, on this? Is what's going on? But I think he knows also. Uh, he's the one making decisions. So you know, I mean, you're in that you're in a position now where you have to be the decision maker. And so uh, I think he'll probably lean on me for some advice and stuff. But he's still going to make decisions for what he feels best for his program. Dak commented the other day that he wanted to walk out of here ready to play the game. Do you feel the team is close to that at this point? Uh, we better be, you know, I think so. I think we've had a good week of practice. I think, you know, human nature sometimes it's tough, um, but that's been our stress all week is, you know, I mean, basically today we finished the Thursday practice. So for us, we have to be, you know, in our mindset, if we're not ready to play two days from now, we're not prepared for the game. And, um, you know, I do, I feel, I feel coming off a of Thursday practice, uh, we, we go, you know, go hang out, have a, our, our team family dinner tonight and, Best Fridays in football tomorrow and kick it off on uh, whatever day that is, Saturday, whatever day that would be um, for us. So we'd be ready to go play now. And uh, so, you know, but now we get a little chance to get a breather, hopefully get fresh, get even a little bit healthier. And we got to come and attack the bowl practice with the, uh, we'll, have, we'll have, you know, a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday practice there um, for our game week routine. How do you get back in that mindset after, you know, the Christmas break and all the fun stuff? How do you get back in that bowl game prep? Uh, you got You got to flip it pretty quick. You got to flip that switch. So we'll get there. Um, you know, we're gonna get there I don't know, Monday in my mind. Monday. Now you guys will all get. I'll mess y'all up. But it'll be Monday night that we get there. Um, you know, and, and kind of get. The reason we want to get there Monday night is sleep in the hotel. So we wake up Tuesday morning. Uh, we go into meetings, go into game plan review, get a Tuesday practice in, come back from. You know, and, and get ourselves right into a game week situation. Um, you know, that's to me the whole key to getting the bowl game and getting that transition ready and, you know, and, and feeling fresh and happy and excited to be there. Do you know if there'll be a NASCAR big enough to carry Nick James at the uh, Charlotte Speedway? Yeah, I'm not sure about that now. I don't know. I'm going to see him get in that window right there, in and out of that, and climbing into that seat. And, do, you, do you plan on getting in car and driving? Yeah. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know. I'm NASCAR, I man. As long as it's the uh, Carl Edwards, I'm a Carl Edwards guy. You gotta, you gotta have your driver. I'm a Carl Edwards guy. So. I don't know if I'll be doing the backflip getting out of it though. <laughs> Probably. Not. You mentioned the other day that Wilson Chapman might try and get on the field and snap some. Is that still kind of a? Oh, uh, we'll talk. We're gonna see when we get to the bowl set. I did it one day. He did it a couple days. You know, with no obviously when we did it kind of on air, he was he was uh, snapping. But uh, you know, I mean, we're obviously not gonna put him at any risk. Um, for his future, but I mean, it's something. If everybody felt good about it, you know, we would give him the opportunity to go uh, short snap.